Hadza is a language isolate spoken along the shores of Lake Ayusi in Tanzania by around 1,000 Hadza people, the last full-time hunter-gatherers in Africa. Despite the small number of speakers, language use is vigorous, with most children learning it. In the late 20th century Hadza was included in a proposed Khoisan language family, largely on the basis of its use of cliques, but this classification is no longer accepted. Classification Hadza is a language isolate, Sands 1998, Star Austin 2013. It was once classified by many linguists as a Khoisan language, along with its neighbor Sanda, primarily because they both have click consonants. However, Hadza has very few proposed cognates with either Sanda or the other Khoisan languages, and many of the ones that have been proposed appear doubtful. The links with Sanda, for example, are Cushitic loan words, whereas the links with Southern Africa are so few and so short, usually single consonant vowel syllables, that they are most likely coincidental. A few words link it with Oropum, which may itself be spurious, the numerals Ichame, 1, and Pi, 2, suggest a connection with Kwadza, an extinct language of hunter-gatherers who may have had recently shifted to Cushitic. Higher numerals were borrowed in both languages, According to Ethnologue, Bali may be a dialect of Hadza. The language is marked as threatened. Phonology Hadza syllable structure is limited to CV, or CVN if nasal vowels are analyzed as a coda nasal. Vowel initial syllables do not occur initially, and medially they appear to be equivalent to per hectovolt. Hadza is noted for having medial clicks, clicks within morphemes. This distribution is also found in Sanda and the Naguni Bantu languages, but not in the Khoisan languages of southern Africa. Some of these words are historically derivable from clicks in initial positions. Many appear to reflect lexicalized reduplication, for example, and some are due to prefixes, but others are opaque. As in Sanda, most medial clicks are glottalized, but not all. Pooch. A spleen. Tanch. To aim. Tache. A belt. Minka. To lick one. S lips. Lacko. To trip someone. Keqhe na. Slow. Pengkeng tilde pekak. To hurry. Haka ko. A stone. Shank. To peer over. Exekeke. To listen. Nax hai. To be crowded. Kax. To jump. Think so. To carry kills under one. S belt. Tone. It is not known if Hadza has lexical tone. It may have a pitch accent system, but the details have not been worked out. There are no known lexical minimal pairs for stressed tone, though the suffix for the habitual mood is tonic. Vowels. Hadza has five vowels, i.e. a o u. Long vowels may occur when intervocalic th is elided. For example, k a or k a to climb. Nasal vowels, although uncommon, do occur, though not before consonants that have prenasalized homologues, that is, cvcv -CV and cvncv -CV are in complementary distribution. All vowels are nasalized before glottalized nasal clicks. Consonants the nasalization of the glottalized nasal clicks is apparent on preceding vowels, but not during the click itself. The labial or is found in a single mimetic word where it alternates with. The labial adjective p is only found in a few words. The palatal affricates may be pronounced with an alveolar onset, t, th, etc., but this is not required. If the transcriptions do not display properly, they can also be written, c, th, etc. The velar ejective k, x, varies between a plosive k, a central affricate, k, x, a lateral affricate, k, th, and a fricative, x. The other ejective affricates may also appear as ejective fricatives. The lateral approximant, l, is found as a flap, th, between vowels and occasionally elsewhere, especially in rapid speech. The voiceless velar fricative, x, is known from only a single word, where it alternates with, k, and zero onset appear to be allophones. 
The prenasalized consonants, as well as the voiced and nasal consonants, t, d, d, and perhaps d, z, on darker background, seem to be borrowed. Elderkin, 1978. Orthography A practical orthography has been devised by Miller and Eniawire, Miller et al., 2013. As of 2015, this orthography is not being used by any Hadza speakers and is therefore of limited value for communication in Hadza. It is broadly similar to the orthographies of neighboring languages such as Swahili, Asanzu, Iraqw, and Sanda. The apostrophe, which is ubiquitous in transcription in the anthropological literature but causes problems with literacy, has been reduced. Glottal stop between like vowels is indicated by vowel sequences that is, b, is written b, as in hasabi, adzabi, the hadza, and adjectives and glottalized clicks by gemination apart from reduced dl instead of asterisk ddl for c. The adjectives are based on the voiced consonants b b z z j j d l g g g g w because these are otherwise found mostly in borrowings and thus not common. T c and t c h t are as in sanda s l as in i r a q w. This is ultimately a French convention. Nasalized vowels are an n in un. Long vowels are a circumflex or aha because they are usually due to an elided. A tonic syllable may be written with an acute accent, a acute, but is generally not marked. Grammar Source, Miller, 2008 Hadza is a head-marking language in both clauses and noun phrases. Word order is flexible, the default constituent order is VSO, though VOS and fronting to SVO are both very common. The order of determiner, noun, and attributive also varies, though with morphological consequences. There is number and gender agreement on both attributives for head nouns and verbs for subjects. Reduplication of the initial syllable of a word, usually with tonic accent and a long vowel, is used to indicate just, meaning either merely or solely and is quite common. It occurs on both nouns and verbs, and reduplication can be used to emphasize other things, such as the habitual suffix hey or the pluractional infix kv. Nouns and pronouns Nouns have grammatical gender, masculine and feminine, and number, singular and plural. They are marked by suffixes as follows. The feminine plural is used for mixed natural gender, as in hasabi. The Hadza. For many animals, the grammatical singular is transnumeric, as in English, dongoko, zebra, either one or a group. The masculine plural may trigger vowel harmony, dongobi, zebras, an individuated number, dungobi, zebra bucks. A couple kin terms and the diminutive suffix nakwa take te in the m.sg, which is otherwise unmarked. Gender is used metaphorically, with ordinarily feminine words made masculine if they are notably thin, and ordinarily masculine words made feminine if they are notably round. Gender also distinguishes such things as vines M, and their tubers F, or berry trees F, and their berries M. Mass nouns tend to be grammatically plural, such as a tibi, water, cf, ati, ron, atiko, a spring. The names reported for dead animals do not follow this pattern. Calling attention to a dead zebra, for example, uses the form hantai, masculine hantae, plural, rare, hadati and hantechi. This is because these forms are not nouns, but imperative verbs. The morphology is clearer in the imperative plural, when addressing more than one person, hantatate, hantate, hantatate, hantachate, substitute c for final te when addressing only men, see below for the verbal object suffixes ta, a, ata, etsha. The copula. The pay and pi forms of nouns often seen in the anthropological literature, actually phi and phii, are copular, dongo phi. They are zebras. The copular suffixes distinguish gender in all persons as well as clusivity in the first person. They are forms with high vowels, i, u, tend to raise preceding mid vowels to high, just as bii does. The 3 sg copula tends to sound like a ya ko or wa ko after high and often mid vowels. O a a approximately equals o w a e j a, and transcriptions with w and y are common in the literature. 
pronouns Personal and demonstrative pronouns are There are some additional third-person pronouns, including some compound forms. Adverbs are formed from the third-person forms by adding locative na, hamana, here, vina, there, nana, over there, himagina, in, behind there. Verbs and adjectives An infix kv, where v is an echo vowel, occurs after the first syllable of verbs to indicate pluractionality. The copula was covered above. Hadza has several auxiliary verbs, sequential ka and ya. And then, negative aqua, not, and subjunctive i. Their inflections may be irregular or have different inflectional endings from those of lexical verbs, which are as follows. The functions of the anterior and posterior differ between auxiliaries, with lexical verbs, they are non-past and past. The potential and veridical conditionals reflex the degree of certainty that something would have occurred. 1sg.npst ta and a couple other forms lengthen the preceding vowel. The 1x forms apart from ya begin with a glottal stop. The imp.sg is a glottal stop followed by an echo vowel. Habitual forms take a tonic he, which tends to reduce to a long vowel, before these endings. In some verbs, the habitual has become lexicalized, marking the three post forms with glottal stop, and so an actual habitual takes a second he. Various compound tense aspect moods occur by doubling up the inflectional endings. There are several additional inflections which have not been worked out. The inflectional endings are clitics and may occur on an adverb before the verb, leaving a bare verb stem, verb root plus object suffixes. Attributives As is common in the area, there are only a few bare root adjectives in Hadza, such as pakapa, big. Most attributive forms take a suffix with cross-gender number marking, e, m.sg, and f.pl, or i, f.sg, and m.pl. These agree with the noun they modify. The I form tends to trigger vowel harmony, so that, for example, the adjective one, sweet, has the following forms. The co, b, bii ending may be replaced by the copula, but the e, i cross number gender marking remains. Demonstratives, adjectives, and other attributives may occur before or after a noun, but nouns only take their gender number endings when they occur first in the noun phrase, andoshibi unibi. Sweet cordia berries, Monaco Unico, tasty meat, but Unibi Andoshi and Unico Mana. Similarly, Dongoko Boko but Boko Dongo, those zebra. Verbs may also be made attributive, Deluziko Awithi, the woman Awithiki, who is speaking, from D. Lozo, to say. This attributive form is used with the copula to form the progressive aspect, Delozini. I am speaking. Male speaker, Deluziniko. I am speaking. Female speaker. Object marking. Verbs may take up to two object suffixes, for a direct object, do, and indirect object, io. These only differ in the 1x and 3sg. The io suffixes are also used on nouns to indicate possession, mako kwa. My pot. Mako a kwa. It is my pot. Two object suffixes are only allowed if the first, the do, is third person. In such cases the do reduces to the form of the attributive suffix, e, m.sg, f.pl, or i, f.sg, m.pl, only context tells which combination of number and gender is intended. Third singular direct objects also reduce to this form in the imperative singular, third plural change their vowels but do not conflate with the singular, c dead zebra under nouns above for an example of the forms word order the factors governing the word order within noun phrases are not known constituent order tends to be sxvo where x is an auxiliary for a new or emphasized subject with the subject moving further back xsvo xvso and xvos or simply not mentioned xvo the better it is established where context, semantics, and the verbal suffixes fail to disambiguate, verb noun noun is understood to be vso. 
numerals. The Hadza did not have numerals before the introduction of Swahili language. Native numerals are Ichame, 1, and Pi, 2, Samaka, 3, is a Datug alone, and Bone, 4, Bothano, 5, and Ikumi, 10, or Sakuma, ASO, many, is commonly used instead of Bothano for 5. There is no systematic way to express other numbers without using Swahili. Dead animal names Hadza has received some attention for a dozen celebratory woodburn or triumphal blench names for dead animals. These are used to announce a kill. They are, in the imperative singular, the words are somewhat generic. Henki may be used for any spotted cat, hushui, hushui for any running ground bird. Lion and eland use the same root. Blench 2008 thinks this may have something to do with the eland being considered magical in the region. An io suffix may be used to reference the person who made the kill. Compare hanta, zebra, with the more mundane verbs, kasha, to carry, and kw. To give. In the imperative singular and plural. Miller 2009. Speculations about early human language. In 2003 the press widely reported suggestions by Alec Knight and Joanna Mountain of Stanford University that the original human language may have had clicks. The purported evidence for this is genetic. Speakers of Juon and Hadza have the most divergent known mitochondrial DNA of any human populations, suggesting that they were the first, or at least among the first, surviving peoples to have split off the family tree. In other words, the three primary genetic divisions of humanity are the Hadza, the Juhon and relatives, and everyone else. Because two of the three groups speak languages with cliques, perhaps their common ancestral language, which by implication is the ancestral language for all humankind, had cliques as well. However, besides the genetic interpretation, this conclusion rests on several unsupported assumptions. Both groups have kept their languages, without language shift, since they branched off from the rest of humanity. Neither group borrowed cliques as part of a sprachbund, as the Bantu languages Zulu, Sutu, and Yeyi did, and neither the ancestors of the Juhon nor those of the Hadza developed cliques independently. There is no evidence that any of these assumptions are correct, or even likely. Linguistic opinion is that click consonants may well be a relatively late development in human language, that they are no more resistant to change or any more likely to be linguistic relics than other speech sounds, and that they are easily borrowed. At least one Khoisan language, Zegui, is believed to have reborrowed clicks from Bantu languages, which had earlier borrowed them from Khoisan languages, for example. The Night and Mountain article is the latest in a long line of speculations about the primitive origin of click consonants, which have been largely motivated by the outdated idea that primitive people speak primitive languages, which has no empirical support. References Bibliography Edward Elderkin, 1978, Loans in Hadza, Internal Evidence from Consonants. Occasional Papers 3, Dar es Salaam. Kirk Miller, 2008, Hadza Grammar Notes, 3rd International Symposium on Khoisan Languages and Linguistics, Rieslern, 2009, Highlights of Hadza Fieldwork. LSA, San Francisco. Kirk Miller, ed., with Mariamu Eniawire, G.G. Bala, and Bonnie Sands, 2013, A Hadza Lexicon, Ms. Bonnie Sands, 1998, The Linguistic Relationship Between Hadza and Khoisan. In Schlatt, Matthias, ed., Language, Identity, and Conceptualization Among the Khoisan, Quellen zur Khoisan Forschung Vol. 15, Köln, Rudiger Kopp, 265-283. 2013, Phonetics and Phonology, Hadza, Tonology, Hadza, Morphology, Hadza, Syntax, Hadza. In Rainer Vossen, ed., The Khoisan Languages. Oxford, Routledge. Bonnie Sands, Ian Madison, Peter Ladifoged, 1993, The Phonetic Structures of Hadza. UCLA Working Papers in Phonetics No. 84, Fieldwork Studies in Targeted Languages. A. N. Tucker, M. A. Bryan, and James Woodburn as co-author for Hadza, 1977, The East African Click Languages, A Phonetic Comparison. 
in J. G. Molig, Franz Rotland, Bernd Heine, eds. Zur Sprechgeschichte und Ethnohistorie in Afrika. Berlin, Dietrich Diener Verlag. External links Hads of Bibliography Science article speculating on the status of clicks in the original human language PDF file, a critical response to speculation about a primordial click language Latifoged, Peter, Madison, Ian, Sands, Bonnie, 1991. Hadza. UCLA Phonetics Lab Archive. Hadza Word List and Sound Files. Sands, Bonnie, Madison, Ian, Latifoged, Peter, 1993. The Phonetic Structures of Hadza. Fieldwork Studies of Targeted Languages. UCLA Working Papers in Phonetics. pp. 67-87. Edenmeyer, Nicholas, 2004. The Semantics of Hadza Gender Assignment, A Few Notes from the Field, PDF. Africa and Asia. Goatbog, Department of Oriental and African Languages, Goatbog University, 4, 3-19. Archived from the original, PDF, on 6 July 2007. Blench, Roger, 7-9 July 2008. Hadza Animal Names, PDF, 3rd International Khoisan Workshop. Rieslearn. Archived from the original, PDF, on 21 July 2011. Hadza Basic Lexicon at the Global Lexicostatistical Database.